All right, I thought I'd finally do a video on my favorite woodworking finish. Uh, all right, so here's our components here. Um, this is Man of War Spar Varnish. I got this at Rockler. Uh, the spar varnish just means it has UV protection. Uh, probably don't need the UV protection as much if it's gonna be indoors. Um, but here in California, there's a lot of crackdown on the volatile stuff that's in classic varnish, so you can't find much varnish anymore. Uh, but I can still get this one locally at Rockler. Uh, here's some Rockler Tongue Oil. This is 100% tongue oil. Apparently some tongue oils are actually uh, a little bit of a varnish tongue oil mix. So I've used this and I've used Minwax uh, tongue oil and I haven't noticed any difference between the two. So probably either one is okay. Boiled linseed oil, you can get this at Home Depot. And then this first coat, we're gonna thin it down a little bit so it really soaks into the wood well. Uh, so we're gonna add some lacquer thinner for this first one. Uh, and this is a this is an oil like a penetrating finish so as you apply it it actually soaks into the wood which is really great so in the future if this gets some use and gets dented uh, that dent isn't going to all of a sudden be bright unfinished wood it's soaked all the way in so it's going to be this color pretty much forever uh, and then over here we just need some uh, we need something to mix it in so this is going to be my little uh, tupperware mixing bowl and you can get these little glad disposable ones work great and then just a cup for measuring as we pour each component in we're going to pour into the same level on the cup because it's going to be one third, one third, one third. And then we'll stir sticks. And you want something for your hands. These are nitrile gloves. Uh, you can't use latex. The lacquer thinner especially sort of eats through the latex and it'll kind of expand on your fingers and start falling apart. And I think there's something else, maybe it's in the varnish that also would do that even if you didn't have the lacquer thinner. So stick to nitrile. Nitrile is good to go. Uh, for the wood, preparation for the wood is this is sanded to 220. This is some uh, Sapelli. Uh, sanded to, to 220, the edges, I broke the edges with a little bit of 220 to get them just a little bit rounded, not so sharp. Uh, and they're sitting on these. These are little painter's triangles. Just kind of hold it up over the table. And then uh, under the wood here, this is just butcher paper. You can just get this at the grocery store. Freezer paper, might be called. And this is uh, shiny side up, so any finish that drips on it will just kind of pool on here and dry and it'll just wipe right off. Uh, keeps the uh, my bench protected. Okay, let's get uh, mixing these here. Okay, let's start here with our varnish. Um, you might see if once you open this and you use it and you store it again, next time you open it, it might be like a weird film kind of formed on top. Uh, I didn't get a film in here because I used this stuff. This is Bloxygen and you can get this, I, got, I think I got this on Amazon. And right before you seal up the can, you sort of spray some of this in here, put the lid on, and then it forms a little layer so the oxygen doesn't get in there, oxidize it, and form that film on top of the varnish. So just spray some of this in each time you open this up and close it again. And I don't know if you can see that, but it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna stir it to make sure everything's all mixed up well. Looks good. Sometimes uh, if it settles, you know, this bottom half of your stick here will be a lot darker because of the stuff that's settled on the bottom. So if you see that, you know, just keep stirring. Uh, I'm gonna take my little improvised measuring cup here. And we're gonna put in, so the trick with this is how much to put, especially the first coat, because the first coat's gonna so soak in a ton and you're probably gonna need more than you think you're gonna need. Subsequent coats are, are just gonna sit on top and they're gonna go real, real easy. And you're not gonna need much. Um, but for this first coat, I'm going to say maybe half of this cup. So remember third, third, third. So by the time you fill this up half, you're really going to get a cup and a half of total finish. Plus we're going to add another third basically of lacquer thinner. So I guess it's really a quarter, quarter, quarter. Um, but we talked about the third, 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 plus a third for lacquer thinner. <laughs> uh, and I got this formula. Actually, this is my first woodworking course I took up in Orange County with uh, William Ng, William Ng Woodworks up in Orange County. So he had us do this as our first finish, and uh, I've used it ever since because it's amazing. And there's that, and then I'll get my lid, my bloxygen. And normally this comes with a stick, but I lost the stick here. Tongue 
think this is the pure tone oil. Nothing, I don't think there's anything to separate, so I've never had a problem with this one settling or anything. So we'll do another half. Speed. This one's sticky too. And depending on how old this can is, you're going to have some dust and stuff over here. So I'm just going to make sure you wipe that down so none of it gets in the finish there. And we're going to go ahead and do another half. So again, for future coats, two, three, four, however many you add, this is all you do and you're done. Um, but for this first coat, I'm gonna add the lacquer thinner. Time you put it on, you flip it over, you actually see some of it already peeking through the other side because it's soaked all the way through all of those channels through the wood there. So I don't know if you can see this, but you'll see as uh, when you first pour it in, there's lots of pattern and texture and striations in here and until it mixes. So you just want to kind of stir until it's just one solid color, look, feel. And generally, if you're going to do this, I would try to, you know, mix this and then apply it within the same day, uh, especially the lacquer thinner, the thinned version, because the lacquer thinner will start to separate out over time. So I usually prepare this, you know, hours before I'm going to apply it. But I wouldn't do it now and then wait a month, because it'll be, it'll separate and start drying out and it'll be useless just to toss it. Good. I don't see any uh, different kind of color divisions or anything in there anymore. So I think that's a nice one solid chunk now. You can see it's got a nice amber color. And that really, when you put that on the wood, it really warms that wood up. It looks beautiful. All right. So there's that. Um, if you do need to store it, you can get a lid. So lots of times your Tupperware right now comes with lids. So you can just put these lids on them, but they're not always, you know, they're not going to be airtight. It'll be airtight-ish, but not enough that to preserve that finish. It'll start getting pretty, pretty gross. All right, let's uh, get ready to apply the first coat here. Be right back.